Puppies. Nicholas, back in the house. Back in the house. Back in the house. Right, we're back with Puppy 751. Xenial. Okay. And I just thought I'd show you how I'll get along with it. Okay. This was supposed to be put up a couple of days ago. I've just been so busy and I've done a couple of live streams and stuff, haven't I, really? Uh, I've got a lot of stuff to research for work. So, you know, it got put back a couple of days at the end of the day. So, how am I going to get along with it? Well, what can I say? It's super fine. Now, you know, last time I was worried about the temperatures, okay? We're at 49 now. I reseated the CPU, or I repasted it, put the cooler back on, and it's just keeping around about the same temperatures, really. I don't know what it's going to be long term, but obviously, with that sort of cool, even though it's a massive cooler, that's what it's going to do. Now, I'm recording here at 1080, 30 frames a second, okay? So we're using half my CPU, basically. For the simple reason, we're not using the NVIDIA drivers that go with the GTX 750 tie in this machine. For the simple reason, they're not working properly yet. So I'll just hold on a bit with that until they get updated so they basically work. Then the CPU will go down to around about 30%, and I'll be a very, very, very happy chappy. Yeah. Anyway, what else is new? Uh, not too much, really. I've added some new backgrounds. I've chucked some conky in basically to make it look nicer i've added a bluefish uh, text editor so i can do stuff so if i right click the desktop you can see conky switches there and all that i've installed that you can change anything you want to but i'm not going to bother you can go and get it yourself it's so easy to use i've changed the icon set to suit me really the other one was a bit old school this one looks a bit better you can download a lot more okay if you really want to uh, I've set the CPU frequency scaling to what suits me. I tried it on full performance, but it was running at the top speed of the CPU all the time, and the temperatures were hanging around about 55, 60 when recording and doing other stuff at the same time. So I didn't really bother, okay? I just went back to this because it worked, basically. For what I needed to do, it just basically works. Now, as you can see, we're recording here. It's super fine. It's okay. It does the job. It's a four core machine. Yes, it's. 10 years old, maybe and more, but it does the job. But can you see, I'm only using 380, 370 of RAM while recording, okay? Yeah, I know, super fine. <sighs> what else is new for me from this? Okay, I have not installed Pulse yet, okay? What I'm going to do, once I've finished this video, I'm going to install Pulse Audio and everything that goes with it, just to make it easy for me at the end of the day. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was going to remaster a live CD, but I thought, no, I can't be bothered, really. All the usuals here. I've not really installed too much more, to be honest with you. Uh, there are a few things installed. Hang on, where are we? Bluefish I've installed, just for basic, basic coding. Just basic, basic. I normally use Trinket, because it's what we use at school, basically. If I'm using the same stuff that I'm using at school, it's fine, so I can show the kids where they've gone wrong. But if you don't want to use an online thing, Bluefish is fantastic. You can do whatever you want, HTML5, your CSS is here, everything is there for you, and it's really easy to do, okay? So if you want to get into a bit of coding or do more, that's the one for you, okay? Where else was I? Okay, business. Uh, you know what? I didn't bother installing LibreOffice because I don't really need it, okay? I can use Google Docs if I really want to, and because I'm on the go all the time, it's probably a good idea for me, because then I can access it on my phone, and I do carry a tablet with me as well, and I do carry laptops with me wherever I go. So that's probably a better idea. Yes, I still have hard copies, but hey, you know what I'm saying. Uh, phew, what else have we got here for you? No. Plenty of browsers, yeah. I still only tend to use Firefox and Google Chrome. I did install the Flash Player for the simple reason if I go down to the Chrome web browser, and then I'll show you what I mean. And there you'll see the CPU start eating stuff and the heat getting a bit hotter. Okay. Hmm. A quick drinkage. This is a real short one, by the way, guys. Well, not too short, but you know. So anyway, we're going to go to... Out to Scratch. Now, if you've used Raspbian, you know Scratch 2 comes with it by default. Now, you can get it from the from Git, I think, GitHub, and some, some repo has it as well. But if you don't want to install it, you can just use the online one here. So if I click Create here, this is Scratch 2. You can download Scratch 1, and that'll install fine from the repos. But if you want Scratch 2, like we have here, which is the most current one, which is what we all use in schools all over the world, or world, or world, whatever you want to call it, it's all here for you, okay? And you can save your products to your root directory or your download directory, wherever you want to store them, okay? 
On another note, there's a couple of things I want to say. Oh, well, I've installed Steam. Yeah, it works right. Okay. It doesn't play some games because I've not got the NVIDIA drivers, okay? For, for base games, it does all the, all the basic ones perfectly, perfectly fine, okay? There's not much too here, new here for you. Did I show you Caden Live last time? Because I was missing some stuff when I installed it. But because they've done some updates, uh, things seem to have been fixed. But so, using this machine on this old, old machine, 10, 11 year old machine, with 3.5 gig of RAM, you can do 1080, 30 frames a second videos, okay? And edit them and upload them, and they'll be fine. You can do your audio with Audacity, so you can get your audio just right. Because you know what it's like with some mics, they just don't work very well, do they, sometimes? And you've got a lot of background noise, or it just doesn't sound right. But Audacity is here, and that's going to click now, isn't it? Watch, 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 watch. Yeah, going to click. Did it click? Did it click? Of course it did, yeah. Oh, never mind. That was a mistake of mine, wasn't it? But there we go. And it will do that because you're opening a program on a really old machine. So that's going to go and think about what it's doing. Or maybe it didn't. Who knows? I'll tell you in a minute. Right, apart from that, oh, right, okay. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, we need Microsoft Office products to work in school. You don't actually need them to work in school. You need the decent fonts on LibreOffice to make them run correctly and come up right in uh, Microsoft at school. If you don't want to do that, right, you can go and get... I'll tell you what, we'll just open a browser and I'll go and show you. Hang on. It'll be easier way to do it before we finish. Now, personally, I wouldn't do this myself. But if your kids are getting on your nerves, so if I go to Microsoft Office 365, okay, if you really, really wanted to, you can install it and pay for it, okay? So we can go to Get Office here if you want to install it. Yeah. If you want to, I mean, just because you're losing, using Linux, you don't have to use everything that comes with it. You can just get what you want. And you can get Office and Student Home here, but I'm not sure if that's online. But I know Office 365 is online. Okay, you can just use it online and access it from wherever you want to. Yeah, but 79 squids. Oh, ouch! Hit me just there. But you can try for free if you want to. Yeah, just try for free. Is it worth 79 pound a month? Oh, sorry, 79 pound a year. That's entirely up to you. Nothing to do with me whatsoever. Hopefully the video won't get flagged for showing you that. Some things do, but yeah. On the whole, Puppy Seven Five One is probably the best. Is the best pup that's been out. If only John would get out of his bed and do some more stuff, we might have an alternative to this Seven Five One and the Slack version of Puppy. Okay, there are other versions of Pup out there, including Fat Dog. Fat Dog. I did like Fat Dog. Don't get me wrong. It ran on my current machine, but it did have a few little ickle pickle problems. That just need iron out, but yeah, it's still new, so don't worry about it. And I have noticed the this one here, the temperature's not gone over 51, so reseating it has done a bit of a job. It's a couple of degrees lower than it was before. But on the desktop, this is just fine. I mean, what do you want from this sort of machine? You can actually make this machine. I actually built it, okay? I built a machine like this for somebody. We could do it now, couldn't we? No, I've done it in a video before, so I'm not going to do it again. But you can buy an old board, the chip, a cooler, the RAM, and a case, and a power supply, and a cheap 10 quid or $13 hard drive for under 100 squids. So that's under $110. You could probably even get it cheaper now, to be honest with you. Even cheaper. So if you just want a quick backup machine like this one here, or something you might just want to use for a change, you know, this, this machine gets sat opposite mine behind me, okay? So we can go to and fro. But it just, it just works. You can just boot up where when you want to. Anyway, that's the Puppy 751 Xenial update. It's super fun. Go and download it, install it, give it a go. Whoosh, whoosh over the top. Doze off.